what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's conservancy here and i first want to start this video by saying merry christmas to each and every one of you thank you guys for a wonderful 2023 thank you guys for whatever comes in the future i want to wish you guys and your families a happy christmas a merry christmas and a happy new year and i hope that you guys this 2024 turns out to being an amazing year in this video i am going to go over a couple of things that uh we are changing with dvrp this video is going to be oriented towards the vrp and i will post another video probably tomorrow on um what i'm doing with my channel specifically um i've spent the last i don't know couple of months just sitting down listening suggest to suggestions listening to the community listening to how people want to see the community and coming out with an idea along with my senior administration my head administration and we have come up with a couple of ideas that we want to bring to you guys okay the first thing is that we are going to be changing from a head administration and senior administration to a board of directors for dvrp instead of having head administration senior administration we're going to go ahead and do more of a board kind of thing and major decisions within the community will be voted on by the board members now all of these members have different perspectives and different ears into the community so they can hear other persons speak about stuff so things that people might be afraid to come to me and talk about they could go ahead and talk to dre about they can go ahead and make suggestions here make suggestions here make suggestions here that also means that i'm going to be stick taking a little bit of a step back from making decisions within the community on my own and it will be more up to the board and how things are similar to how a company is right now we've made a few changes to the civilian department those of you who are in the civilian department in dvrp will have seen those recently the next thing we're going to be doing we're going to be offering differences in our law enforcement departments between lspd state and bcso or uh san andreas metro sheriff's department is a law name but we will be we'll be offering different things soon so look out for more of an announcement for that and look out for the applications and our website which we linked in the description down below you guys can go ahead and see which which department is going to offer what each department is going to have a different culture different subdivisions and different things that they can offer and with that being said we're also going to be introducing leo reserves you will be able if you are a main department you will be able to go ahead and reserve into another leo department such as state patrol or lsbd especially if you want to get into a certain subdivision now these subdivisions will be cater to one department so for example let's just use this as an example if state patrol has the aggressive traffic unit they have all of these different cars it will not be offered in the metro sheriff's department however a met a deputy can go ahead and apply for reserve within the san Andreas state patrol and then get into aggressive traffic unit that way so that you guys know we will be changing the branding of the community pretty soon so if there's anybody that wants to go ahead and try to make a new branding for diverse roleplay how you know how our logo looks how everything looks you guys can go ahead and reach out to me in my discord link in the description down below and if you guys want to try and have your design be the forefront for our community you guys can go ahead reach out to me on my discord and uh we'll have a, something on to that now the biggest thing that we've had um and this is something that we are going to address here is our patrol branding now the, the thing is because we are such a diverse community we have tried to cater to so many groups of people the younger audience the older people and the people in between and that has caused sometimes for us to to not cater to the older audience the older audience might get frustrated with stuff that the younger audience does or vice versa so we've decided that instead we are going to do something called patrol branding and each patrol branding is going to be given a specific name so if you guys know we are in development of a dvrp qb core server and this is going to be for the hard core role play map people okay those who want to sit down here and do grinding for hours this is going to be a 24 hour 24 7 service where you guys can hop in you guys can go ahead and do whatever it is for qb core it's going to be free to play it's going to be for everybody to play the only way the only whitelisted part of it is that you're gonna have to to be a cop or to be a fire ems you're gonna have to get whitelisted for those roles outside of that everything else it will be a free-to-play server anybody can come in and join so we're looking out for that that 
and release date will be announced pretty soon we're almost to the end of that development the next thing we're going to be uh focusing on is dvrp realistic dvrp realistic is going to be our main rp server it's going to be whitelisted and it's going to be a traditional rp server where you have your characters you have all of these things different things and the rp will be a little bit more slowed down this is going to be targeted at the older audience the, uh, the guys that who sit down and they want to sit down and think about the rp they want to sit down and feel very engaged in the rp and how it is and how it goes and everything it's going to be super rule based there's going to be a lot of rules in it you guys make sure that you know it, it's, it's supposed to give you the feel of real life you know and all of these different things so that's going to be our dvrp realistic that's what we're going to call it dvrp realistic okay that's going to be from every day on our server, etc. Now, the final branding that we want to talk about is DVRP Wild. DVRP Wild will be on the DVRP Realistic server. However, it will only be on Tuesdays and Thursdays when we have the big content creators coming who have very, very young audiences. For example, Steve and myself, whenever we come in, I'm going to be doing the DVRP Realistic. I'm going to be doing DVRP Wild. I'm going to also be doing DVRP Real Life. But Tuesdays and Thursdays is going to be more of the fast-paced RP where you guys get shootouts, you guys get pursuits, you guys get all of these different things. And those people who are willing to get on on these days, we can go ahead and hop in on these days and get a little bit more of a quick thing. This is where everybody can let their hair down. People don't have to be uptight about RP anymore. You guys can go ahead and just go ahead and have fun have fun on the server i'm not saying that's going to be unrealistic it's just going to be semi-realistic in a sense and the scenes are going to be a little bit more fast-paced the next thing we are going to be lowering our activity requirements and um i realized that a lot of people have been removed from the community because of activity requirements listen we all got lives and we at dvrp understand that we want you to come in and rp whenever you can and whenever you want to be able to and at this point, we're not going to be having these super, super strict um, activity requirements. We will announce the activity requirements pretty soon and make that public. But for right now, our activity requirements are going to be greatly reduced, probably by three times when um, this policy or everything has been changed on the 1st of January 2024. The next thing is we're going to continue with our dual clanning policy. Now, if you're a member of DVRP staff and you are a part of another uh whitelisted rp community we will allow you to go ahead and be part of that community however if that takes from your duties as staff in dvrp we will be removing you from your positions we are here to ensure that this community is ran well and if you're able to manage both completely fine with us but if your duties to dvrp is diminished in any way by you being a part of another one you're gonna either have to choose you're gonna have to choose that other community or dvrp and if we realize that you're slacking we're gonna choose for you and make sure that you are not taking up a spot from somebody who wants to be a bit more involved who wants to be a part of dvrp staff and wants to do the duties that they agree to when becoming staff the next thing we're going to talk about is a full-time media team we will be offering a full-time media team for people to come in off the jump and apply for on our website link in the description down below the we're going to be we're going to be having a certain amount of requirements just not going to be anything too major but we want to go ahead in div in 2024 promote dvrp as the community to be a part of and we're going to be welcoming people coming in as a full-time media members as i said we're going to have an application form on the website for people to go ahead and sign up and place their youtube their twitch their kick whatever platform that they are pr producing content on you guys can go ahead and be a part of that now are you're gonna be we're gonna have certain rules and stipulations as to what you will have access to as media members but i will say this now you will have access to all departments and be able to produce content in all departments that's gonna bring us down to the next part it's gonna be full-time development department now this full-time development department will have some of the same position permissions as the full-time media team however um we do want you to put the development of the server a little bit more first and then whenever that's done you can have as much fun as you want within dvrp now with all of these changes we do recognize that a lot of people have uh decided to move on to other communities based off of um the the lack of different changes that we've had in dvrp 
and at this point now we want to welcome you guys back into dvrp with these different changes we have as i said we've been spending a lot of time listening to the community and want to make changes to make the community better and reach the potential of the community that it actually has and with that being said we want to welcome all past the vrp members who were let's say removed for inactivity or minor reasons you guys are welcome to come back in and no questions asked we're gonna go ahead and give you a rank a pretty higher pretty high up rank and you guys can go ahead and rp with us once again the next thing we're going to be talking about is that we're going to be raising our minimum age requirement now the minimum age requirement will go from 16 to 18 and this policy will go live on the 1st of january 2024 dispatchers will all be allowed to apply at 16 years old under a six month probationary period now applicants who are also 17 and a half years old may apply to dvrp but will have certain stipulations such as probationary periods, extra training, etc. Um, if we suspect that a member is underage or an applicant is underage, their application may be denied. The next topic we're going to talk about is that DVRP will be reinstating LSPD. We will be choosing a uniform and the board of directors will be choosing a uniform and a vehicle livery pretty soon. And you guys are going to start seeing development on that and implementation of DVRP into our main server of LSPD into our main server. Sorry. And as of today, we will be advertising for the position of Los Santos Police Department Chief and Deputy Chief. And this position will be applied to applied using a letter of interest addressed to the community leadership of DVRP. The board of directors will then go ahead and go through all of the applications and make a choice on who's going to be lspd chief and who's going to be lspd deputy chief if you guys are interested in that you guys can go ahead head over to our website link in the description down below of everything else with all of these changes that we are continuously making we hope that dvrp has a wonderful 2024 and you guys come on to their server and enjoy yourself the whole reason we are going to be on RP and on a game is to enjoy ourselves and make sure that we create this community of people who enjoy RP, who enjoy feeling like, you know, they are part of something as part of something bigger. And I do want to say thank you guys for an amazing 2023. And I also want to say I am interested in having an amazing 2024 with all of the people that I've met over the last two and a half years that DVRP has a thing. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys in 2024.